Hey guys, what's happening? So, I've been messing with NiceHash OS for a while, and one of the things I notice is that uh, sometimes when you actually have the onboard video on the motherboard enabled, uh, the GPU won't send its uh, you know temperature, load rating, or the uh, fan RPM. So, um, if you're actually having that issue, like I'm currently having on my six GPU rig, and I'll show you that in a second, and I'll show you the solution. Um, it doesn't pick up the actual like the tamp here, the load, the RPM, and I'm currently running two different versions, uh, two different systems with Nice Hash, nice hash OS, and uh, this actually one picks up all the correct information here, and this one I actually have the onboard uh, video card disabled, and I actually have the uh, monitor plugged into the GPU directly. So I mean, it is nice actually having the, the motherboard, and uh, you know because you don't have to actually take any uh, resource away from the card, but like I said, I've only observed this on Nice Hash OS. Um, you know, um, Hive OS doesn't seem to have the problem. Kudo Miner OS doesn't seem to have the problem, but just Nice Hash OS. So, not sure what the deal is here. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna disable this, and uh, I'll show you before and after. All right. So here's the rig that you just saw in the control panel. It's five RX 580s, and if you hear the noise, I'm actually putting out a mount for that right now. So. If you're looking for a 120 millimeter uh, fan, there you go. Turn it on now for it. But I need a better air circulation. So that's actually one of the issues I was having is that I need to be able to see the temps. So I can I need to know if these things are overheating or not. So when I put the case to cover case cover on there and I move it to the data center, it's not going to be overheating this box. Um, so let me switch to my solution real fast for the, uh, the monitor. So I'm actually I'm going to connect to my primary monitor. And you got to make sure that it's connected to the uh, main, the 16 port PCI slot here. And the, the video card, full length video card PCI slot. Is that, this, this, this is typically the primary video card for these motherboards. And I got to run it back a cable. I got like a little DVI 90 degree splitter here. And a three foot cable. It's actually a VGA extension. And then I have an old uh, plate that has a VGA port on it that I'm going to plug right here. Yeah, I normally wouldn't have to do that just because this case, everything's faced forward. You know, I can't, uh, you know, I, I plugged it in the back right here. So, but by doing the onboard video, it disables the uh, sensors for some reason. So, um, I don't know if it's an AMD thing or a NVIDIA thing or what. But, like I said, I don't have that problem with Nice Hash or, excuse me, uh, Kudo Miner or uh, Pive OS. So, i get the cable going. Hi right, guys, there it is. So the onboard GPU is disabled, and it's different for every motherboard, so that's why I didn't show you. But uh, under the AS rock, it's under advanced chipset. But yeah, there you go. So you can see the temp now, the load is coming up, and uh, the fan RPM. So now I can actually figure out if I can, <laughs> if I need the extra fans for this case. So, all right, cool, pretty simple. But yeah, like I said, I only observed it with NiceHash OS. So, all right, guys, cool.